M0FXB, so the long-awaited firmware update for the GD88 has now arrived. We're going to quickly read the notes, and then in a separate video, we're going to do the update. So let's just go through. VFOB unprogrammed bug is fixed. TX of analog DTMF now fully supported. Talk alias data now displayed correctly. Radio menu may be operated even during an active QSO. Improved reaction time when changing the volume. That's the big one. That is the big one. Single VFO mode is now possible and utilizes a complete screen to turn it on, off. Here's the menu. Local set display mode, single mode. Wow, I think that's really good. Uh, active single mode will disable switching between VFO A and B. Uh, DMR audio level aligned to analog audio level. So that's good. You know, one minute is loud, the next minute is quiet. If no received group is assigned to a channel, traffic for the assigned talk group will now still be received. Received group list menu within device is now displayed correctly. No power cycle required after writing the code plug to the radio in order to make the GPS GPS menu available again. Currently, ent ent current entry of our menu submenu and total number of entries are displayed in the upper right corner above each other. Icons are updated. Current RX group and zone displayed during RX as long as DMR ID database has not been uploaded to the radio active station is not listed within the uploaded DMR. Wow, it's still going on. Now, is that the... Still here, look. Release notes for... March 30, DMR ID data now properly displayed, no more display of wrong DMR database, 1450 hertz pilot tone fix, minor fixes with talk LA display, support for program, oh it's going back to previous messages now, so right, okay, well let's, uh, well, in, a, in another video let's do this and then, then uh, it looks to me like these are some really good improvements on the radio, bye for now.